Congressman, you've been a freshman member of the 118th Congress for about two months now. Tell us, how has it been going? Well, it, it was intense for the first four days. And uh, then, then we were able to find a solution that uh, is set up guardrails for us as a, a party to, to be able to really solve a lot of the, the, the problems that we, we were going to solve long term. And we took care of it in four days. And so we're, we're moving forward. We're uh, passing legislation that the conference is, is uniting on. And we are, of course, headed towards a uh, hopeful, uh, a responsible resolution to what is another uh, debt ceiling uh, before us. Congressman, I can't wait to unpack this all, but I first want to talk about what you described as that intense start of this Congress. You were one of the around 20 House Republicans to initially vote against Kevin McCarthy as House Speaker. You eventually voted for him, but that historic vote really uh, showed what many has characterized as a fractured GOP. We're now two months past that moment. How would you describe the current state of the Republican Party? Well, I'm, I'm excited, you know, that that um, conflict gives you an opportunity to either uh, to go separate ways or to do conflict resolution. And, and the Republican conference, we, we brought forth conflict resolution. And the conflict resolution, a lot of that, some of it was seen on, on the screen, but a lot of it was happening behind closed, closed doors. And I'm grateful to Speaker McCarthy of embracing the concerns that many of us have about uh, continual use of, of omnibus spending, the omnibus packages that have taken us in the last 10 years from 15 trillion to 31 trillion. And so I'm excited about where our, our leadership is taking us. I just actually visited with, with Leader Scalise and was sharing with him that some of his commentary I'd passed on to the Freedom Caucus. Um, and, um, and that was organic, I, that uh, I just sent that, uh, his public statement that I, I found encouraging and sent it to the Freedom Caucus, of which I'm a part. And, and so I see a, a Republican Party that... Um, and, and Speaker McCarthy advocating for us to to bring about a solution to runaway federal spending that has gripped our nation uh, to much greater level in the last 40 years than the 200 and almost 50 year uh, nation designation that we're about to, to, to hit. Can you share a behind the scenes look at your conversation with um, Representative Scalise? What did that conversation look like? What did you pass on to the Freedom Caucus? Well, I, look, I would just say I was encouraging him that um, that some of his commentary is striking a chord with 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 me and others. And and so I was just grateful to him. And, and so I'd like to keep that private. Uh, but uh, just it goes to show that uh, that when people are kind, when people reason together, we can come up with solutions. We can be, um, you know, and sometimes we're not ideal ideologically apart. Um, it may be that some have other considerations that, that they're thinking that others aren't. And so to get into a room, reason together, make sure we stay calm. And, and uh, I'm believing that we as a Republican conference can do great things and we can affect um, what, what has been a, a can-kicking exercise down the road over so much of our, our runaway federal spending.